Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lash. If this is your first time, thank you for clicking on this video. You could have clicked on a lot and you chose this one and I appreciate you. First of all, not gonna lie, I did have a uh, surgery this week, so still a little bit under the weather. That's why I didn't post on Thursday. I post twice a week. Today is now Sunday that you're watching this. I decided to post today because I just want to get back to a sense of normalcy. But it was a rough surgery. I will be doing a full video on that in the next video. So you should get that in the video after this one. It's going to be all about gastro stuff, IBS, and kind of the stuff that I went through with that. Uh, so stick out for that one. It's probably going to be the most informative video I ever shoot on this channel. Let's have a little bit of fun because I'm tired of being in recovery. Today is the first day that I can officially sit straight and not be in pain. I'm going to be reviewing some coach purchases I made. I bought four pieces on coach and we're gonna do in-depth. I'm gonna talk about it, what can fit inside these bags and also do a try on for you guys as well because I know that that stuff, styling is, it matters. I have my receipt here. I also will be giving you guys prices of each item so you kind of know what I got it for. I think that's everything intro wise. Let's just jump right on in. I don't want this video to be too long and it's way too hot in this room. <laughs> Coach is a brand that I have loved and respected for years. I grew up seeing them a lot. My mom had Coach bags and I just love her taste in bags. Personally, I definitely think when it comes to bags, accessories, things like that, me and my mom are like right here. We are definitely bag girls. I don't care what anybody says. In terms of designer bags, Coach had the biggest comeback of 2020 and 2021. The pillow tabby bag took over the internet it was crazy the tabby collection in general is absolutely nuts I was ready to get my hands on the tabby wasn't able to get it there were only three colors in the tabby that I really wanted that was the cream color I loved the forest green color that's my second favorite color and then the orange one and I wasn't able to get my hands on any of them I do not think that they are worth the resale value personally. I just don't think they're worth it. I think if you missed out, you just missed out. The The amount of money that they're selling these pillow tabbies for is crazy. And personally, I feel like people are going to lower those resale prices anyway. So if you really, really, really want the bag in your collection, wait for next season. Coach would be ridiculously dumb to not do that whole pillow tabby thing again. It garnered so much attention and so much revenue for the brand and also um it is really sought after so you might end up getting colors next season that you really really love or wait for these prices for this last season to plunge and then go for it personally that's my recommendation i made a coach and coach outlet purchases uh everything here is monogram like a little bit surprised and if you guys are frequent on my channel because a lot of you guys subscribed recently thank you for subscribing then you know i don't like monogram of anything like i don't own anything monogrammy only monogrammed out piece that i own is my louis vuitton keep all which i um also reviewed on this channel as a january favorites video i will link that up there somewhere for you guys if you want to check that out that is like i think is the best travel piece you ever could have i was really surprised by everything that i got in terms of just the styling i feel like if there was ever a purchase i've made designer that was like completely opposite of who i am as a person it was this purchase but yet i love every single piece it just works it just works and I don't know why, but it does. We're gonna work from smallest to largest. I will tell you how much everything costs. The first piece that I went for was the mini wallet on a chain and signature canvas. And I absolutely love this bag. Now, if you guys are already subscribed to the channel and you watch my Jocelyn's video, you know I crap on, I shit on small bags. And I do it with pride. Because I just feel like they don't make sense. And then I went and bought this, which honestly, I love it so so much I was like where am I gonna wear this nothing fits in this this is stupid why would I want to own this why 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 and to Cabo recently I vlogged the whole thing it was an amazing trip and when I went there I saw a woman that had kind of something similar to this it wasn't coach it was a different brand and she had it and she was going to dinner and I realized that stuff kind of like really matters the little bags in terms of little things like this like this is enough to carry 
you know, your AirPods, your lip gloss, things like that. Things that you just need on the go, a credit card, you know, stuff like that. And your room key, if you still have, I mean, our room had wristbands to open our doors, but in case you wanted that, having to carry all her items in her hand. And I was like, you know, that, that makes sense. I get the whole little bag thing when it comes to that. So I ended up purchasing this one because the price was so, so good on it. So the bag looks like this. Now, the monogramming on this, very subtle. It's looking a lot more pronounced because of my ring lights, but it is very, very, very subtle. It just looks like a nice dark brown with black accented bag. Uh, you have a back pocket here. You open it. You have your chain, which we're going to talk about this chain more. It is a very, it's a decent chain. But we'll get more into that. You have the part that says Coach New York there. On the inside, you have one pocket here. You get your authentication cards and everything in there. You have another pocket here. So these are all card holder pockets, basically. And then you have one big pocket here in the middle. So I'm going to up close that for you. One pocket, one pocket, one big pocket. I'm going to talk about the pros of this bag. Things actually fit in it. Surprise, surprise. Well, I'm going to show you what I would put in it. It is, sits at a really nice length chain-wise, which at the end of the video, I'm going to style every single thing I show you on my person. So just stick forward to the end. I just want to get the talking parts out first. It surprisingly fits everything um, that you would need for the occasion that I intended for to buy it for. I also think this will work if you're doing like a little mini bodega run. Like you just need to go downstairs really quick and we say we'll dig in here. You just need to go downstairs really quick to the store or you're going to go pick something up really quick. You don't want to have to carry a big whole bag. You just want to have your phone, which a lot of people use Apple Pay anyway. So you don't really need cards anymore. Let's be real. You want to just have one or two cards or just your ID. Like this will fit that. You want to carry lip gloss and your keys. This will fit that. And so in, in the you know scheme of things, it isn't really a pointless, useless bag. Like you can get things done with the bag. For this one... Definitely your AirPods can go, for sure. You're not going to be able to fit anything except that. You can maybe get away with a lip gloss, but not one this chunky. So we're going to just dip on the lip gloss. Your keys, for sure. Sorry, I got to see what I'm doing. And I got pretty chunky keys. So for this bag, it's just looking like your keys and your AirPods. And of course, you have your card cases for cards. Um, you know what you could do if you had like a mini blonde rose like this, you could slip that in in the corner. Like I have space right here to slip that in. So I have a little mini perfume, keys, and my AirPods. And that just snaps closed with ease. And it fits fine. Nothing's protruding. Everything still holds its shape. I'm very big about bags holding their shape. So I don't stuff my bags to the point that the bag starts to stretch and look weird. I want it to have the same shape it had when I bought it. Chain-wise, this is one of my cons. I think this chain is very cheap, personally. I feel like it's heavy, but not heavy enough. And Coach, you can do a lot better in terms of the chain of this bag. Currently made an Etsy order uh, the other day and bought a chunkier chain that was way more hefty. Uh, that guy has so much great reviews on his Etsy channel or Etsy page. I will link his page below. I would rebuy the chain and relink it because you can. This is removable. That's my con and my only con about this purchase is the chain. I just think it looks very cheap and it just doesn't really it doesn't really excite me, but it does look great crossbody. It's a very cute bag. It's absolutely stunning crossbody. I cannot say anything about that. So I do think it's worth the purchase. I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for mine. So I'm just pulling up my order really quick. Uh, I paid 50 bucks for this. Wait for it to go on sale. I would not buy this full price. I think it retails for maybe 200 ish. I wouldn't buy it full price. I think this is gonna drop on sale a lot. Check Coach Outlet because they actually make more of a sale. The next item that I bought, this one is the Slim Envelope Wallet with Chain in Blocked Signature Canvas. And I love this. It's another wallet on a chain. 
this holds a lot okay this holds more than you think it might hold first of all i like that it's a turnbuckle i love turnbuckles you just can't open them for nothing i love that i love the two different monogrammings so i like that it's that darker on top of that lighter that you have a black back and then a white side there's just so much beautiful colors in there when you open it you have space here to put stuff you have all of this is card space all of it on both sides and then you have a pretty deep middle you turn it around to the back zipper closure of course all in a chain so let's jump in first of all the most buttery delicious leather ever this feels so lush if there's one thing that coach does really well it's their leather. It is buttery, it is delicious, it is smooth, it is soft, it's supple. On the outside is more of a pebbled leather, but for like resilience, that there is no better. Like I love, I usually go for this for a lot of my pieces because it just holds up so well and for so long. You can obviously take off the chains and just use this as a wallet as well, which would be really pretty depending on the bag. Both don't hold much. The difference is definitely one, the size, obviously, and two, this you could get away with for dinner on a regular basis um also the chain on this is another thing the same issue i gotta cut this off it's the same issue with this in terms of the chain thicker than the smaller mini wallet but still cheap coach let's go come on like it could be a lot more quality also if you order anything online from coach and coach outlet both of them you do not get dust bags so i know that for coach you can go into the coach stores and request a dust bag from them and show them your receipt and they'll give you one for coach outlet you just don't get any you can't go into the outlet and get it you just don't I just think for the amount of money that people spend on their their bags their items like, at least you can get is a damn dust bag like you know what i mean it's just like do better companies do better essentials usually are i like to have a lip pencil because i use lip pencils uh i like to have a lip gloss the fenty beauty one is the one that i use the most i actually am wearing the new one well this is glass slipper on my lips right now but they are my go-to glosses and then i like to have my airpods i'm on the train i love listening to music i'm on the bus i like to have uh some form of a touch up like perfume so this is a rollerball from clean in the scent blonde rose my favorite scent that clean has ever created and they no longer make it clean please bring it back please like this is all i have left i've ran out of my big one i only have this um so i like to bring a mini and then of course my keys i have it on this really chunky jamaica chain uh i'm still looking out for the louis vuitton cleave key clave it's always sold out. I can never find it. I can never get it. But that is like what I want for my keys because it's just more sleek and you don't have to worry about your key scratching up your bags. I'm going to try and make it work in this. So first of all, how it start is one for pencils. They have shorter pencils. So I just like have a longer one, but they have some that you can get that literally will start like there and they're tiny. But I, let's just say I want to use this one. You can put that in, obviously, with ease. Then, essential, my AirPods. I'm going to pop that in. So far, so good. Blonde Rose. You got to smell good the whole night. We're good on that. Then, Fenty. You got to touch up your lip gloss. We're good on that. Let's say we didn't have a big chunky chain like mine, but I do, so I'm just going to still put it in there. This is where it's like, okay, you might get away with this, you might not. You see, that is the part that's taking up all of it. It's not the key, it's this chain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everything is in there. I put the end up putting the Fenty lip gloss on top. And then this closes with ease not a problem turn lock it nothing's popping out the back everything's sleek that's all i need for a night out 
obviously your cards and stuff will go in those card slots that you saw in the bag so this bag in terms of fitting things works like you can get away with this and it just looks so good as a crossbody draped over you it is a perfect little evening bag personally i feel i'm only going to use that mini bag probably for vacations and little things this i'm going to use for dinner all the time we are on now to our last two items so the last two items that i bought uh one was a full-on bag so i have never owned a coach bag i have a lot of bags in my collection but everything is very dark i don't want to say i'm a dark person i actually am a light person in life in terms of personality and how i feel about life i need a drink of water hold on sorry mm. i'm definitely a light person in terms of life like I light up rooms, I feel like I'm, I think I'm pretty fun and good energy and I can just talk to anyone, like, you know, that's the type of person that I am. But I love dark colors, so I feel like I always gravitate towards bags that were darker. Uh, lots of blacks, maybe blues, dark greens, orange, like just more darker colors, not very light. So I wanted to like counteract that and get a very light cute sweet bag by the way this goes back to the whole thing with the dust bag this is the bag they give it to you in like this little plastic coach bag no bueno give me a dust bag give me a dust bag i got this beautiful bag i mean how gorgeous is that first of all one thing i loved about it was how light it was it was so different to anything i ever had in my collection and these lighter bags do come in handy to all of my black girls out there. I don't mean black. I mean black. Like you wear a lot of dark colors and things like that. You got to have some light bags in your collection, guys, because it really helps your outfits out. Like I'd wear these beautiful tan blazers and, and creams and white and all of these nice light colors. And then I'd have this black bag and I'm like, it's just not what I'm going for right now. It's like kind of accordion style. One, you have a lot of space in here. Two... You can wear it dual ways. So you can wear it as a crossbody, which I think looks great. But personally, I am a crossbody girl and I think that this bag is better worn on your shoulder like this. It's just so beautiful and chic. Not in your face. You have that light on that dark. The dark is just in the surrounding. And I like that they made this like a very nice pale cream. Um, it's coming off as more yellow on camera and it does have twinges of yellow in there but it is more of like a beigey cream I like that that's there to kind of break up the monogramming I think that that was a really good touch good job coach on that have your hang tag this is very very heavy it's like a really significant weight I like that I like the white the contrast of the white paneling on the sides is beautiful. And then, of course, on the back of the bag is that dark monogram predominantly and then just a touch of the light one. So everybody has their moment. Every color has their shine. This chain, no complaints. Chunky, thick, heavy, nice, delicious chain. For this bag, fitting things in it, not going to be a problem. So... First off, you open up the bag and you have this beautiful, buttery, smooth suede. For a lot of people, suede is just not their thing. They're not really a fan of suede. Um, it gets messy, all that stuff. Trust me, I'm here with you. You open it up. You have one pocket here, the thing that says coach. You have another little mini pocket here. That's where you have authentication cards and all that stuff. Uh, you have a pocket here, so a second pocket. You have a zipper here so that's almost like a third or fourth pocket and then you have another pocket in the front so that's like a fifth pocket like this bag can hold so much stuff and even when you stuff up accordion bags i feel like they just are the best bags in terms of stuffing because they just kind of expand but they never get like this you know just shaped it'll just expand and it'll still be you know pretty you know what i mean like it'll just be like a little bit more pronounced but nothing like ugly or like the shape was changed or anything like that like honestly i don't even think i need to show you guys what i can fit in this bag because you can fit damn near anything I have the biggest iphone right now out this is the 12 pro max so this i mean you're good if you have a phone smaller than mine you're fine if you have the same phone as me you're fine you still have all of these other pockets to stuff up with other things you need. So I'm just going to throw my other things in. I have my lip gloss, right? 
AirPods. You could even probably put a bigger perfume than this in here, to be honest. But you can see everything is packed up in there really nice. And I still have this pocket completely empty. This pocket completely empty. And I forgot to tell you that in the back, you also get another pocket. So there's just no way to not have enough room with this bag. I could still fit my camera in here. I'm currently using it, but... My camera is the G7X. It's small enough to fit in here. I could fit my Sony camera in here. I know it retails for over $300. And I spent... $189 on this. This is the Claire Crossbody in Blocked Signature Canvas. $189. I'm not mad at it for the leather quality. Again the size of the bag, how much you can fit in it, the design. If I'm gonna go monogram, it has to be somewhat subtler. Um, I love this with blazers. I'll show you guys this in the try-on section. It looks so nice. Uh, my style is very blazery. And the last piece was this. So I didn't even intend to buy this. Um, I just like that it just matched my bag perfectly. It just kind of looked like a little, you know, piece you have a space here a space here you flip it around you have a space here people usually put their id or something in there whatever metro card we don't even use those anymore <laughs> and then in here you have your authentication it has like a lot of papers and stuff in here right now so i'll just take these out for you guys in here is just one whole pouch you could put cash and key ring so you can clip this to your bag. I don't think that this bag itself has a hook for a key ring. Nope, it doesn't. So, but you can clip this to other bags that do have. This works. You can zip it in here. You can put it anywhere you want. It's just perfect size. And I love cohesiveness. So that just kind of works for me. This one retailed for $31, which is also the reason I bought it. It was definitely not a need. Woo! That was a lot. I'm going to drink some water, catch my breath. Uh, so I'm done with the chatty part of this video. I think now is what you guys want to see. So I'm going to style some of these pieces. I'm actually wearing this beautiful puff sleeve dress. I feel like a princess. <laughs> I feel like a beautiful princess. This one is from And Other Stories. I believe this was a last season dress, but you can still check and see if you can find it through thrifting online. Uh, Poshmark, Mercari, or just check And Other Stories. Maybe they brought it back. I have not seen it, but it is stunning. I love it. And yeah, I will be back after that for my final remarks. try on haul thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up comment down below what piece is your favorite you can say all of it because all of them are my favorite i'm not gonna judge you and then also if you like videos like this please subscribe to the channel these videos are really time consuming and hard to film so i hope i did a decent job and yes there will be so much more luxury videos as I'm transitioning out of fast fashion for the rest of my life, I will be, you know, investing more in minimal pieces and ready to wear in designers things that are made really, really well. And just being able to buy just one thing and not have to buy millions of really 
bad crappy design stuff and cheap material and things like that it's just not good for our environment and that should be our number one like mission is to give our kids the same earth that we got to experience ourselves so as i move forward that's my mindset yeah, i will see you guys in the next video hopefully it's sooner than later thank you guys for watching